Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how to download and verify the Ethereum wallet in Linux Debian. So let's get going. Okay, so I know I have a lot of videos for Windows 10 users. Uh, that seems to be the uh, operating system of choice for most people. So uh, I want to be helpful to as many people as I can. But on my channel, uh, I'm all about privacy, anonymity, and security. And if those things are important to you, then you really want to go with uh, a Linux distribution, an open source Linux distribution. My favorite happens to be Debian, so that's the one I'm going to uh, explain for you today. So uh, a lot of the tools that I use, these cryptographic tools, uh, are a little bit easier to use in Debian once you get the hang of it. So I'm going to walk you through this. It's pretty simple and uh, let's get going. Okay, so we're going to go over here to the big screen. Uh, I'm going to use Chromium for this and I'm going to point out here that in my settings in advanced there is a little switch down here for downloads. Ask where to save files uh, before downloading, and uh, by default it's off. So we want to tick that on so uh, our software downloads are a little more uh, organized where we put our files and, and those types of things, uh, and then we can find our stuff later. So let's go over here to the Ethereum homepage. Ethereum project homepage. Okay, so we're going to do a Debian install here. So we're going to scroll down to see all versions. Uh, we're going to say sure. Okay, and then uh, here they show us all our SHAs, which we're going to use for our verification. Okay, now in this case, we're going to be downloading the 64 bit version of the Deb installer because I'm running a 64 bit uh, computer. And most of you probably are. I don't know how many 32-bit computers are out there still, but you know, there may be. So down here is the file that we're interested in, the Ethereum Wallet Linux 64. We're just going to click that. And basically what we're going to do is I've got a nice little software folder in my home folder. You can see it right here. Uh, we're going to double click. And I'm going to create a new folder called Ethereum. to save the file there. All right, now we want to verify this. There's our hash that we want to verify with. So we need to go to our terminal. Now, if you recall, uh, we did it in the software folder, so we're going to do a CD software. And we created an Ethereum folder, so we'll just put a little slash there. takes us to our Ethereum folder. We'll just hit ls, which is your directory command, and you can see there's the uh, Debian package that we downloaded. Okay, so uh, we want to do a SHA sum on this. I'm just going to, whoops, going to make this window a little bigger here because we're going to do a long command in a minute. Uh, so we do SHA 256, which is the type of uh, SHA hash that uh, we're doing up here. You can see up here SHA 256. And we're going to run this command on this file. So I'm just going to highlight, copy, go over here and paste. And uh, I'm a little lazy. I don't like to type it. And also, this type of uh, file name uh, has a lot of uh, dashes and numbers and things we want to make sure and it has to be typed correctly so the cut and paste for me uh, is a little more uh, robust so to speak so we hit enter and look at that it generated this SHA for us right here and if we look up here we can see we can sort of eyeball that we've got pretty close but we don't know quite because uh, we'd have to look at each one one by each character one by one uh, so let's uh, I'm gonna show you a little trick Let's make it a little easier. So we're going to uh, highlight and copy this one because this is our standard. This is the one that we want to compare the generated SHA hash to. So there's a little trick here. We're going to do a SHA 
256 sum command and we're going to use a switch a dash C for check okay now what we're going to check is that SHA that we just copied into our clipboard and we're going to uh, put a quote open quote and then I'm going to do a paste all right and then I put a space and a star or asterisk and then the name of the file. Normally we need the uh, path name but we're in the right directory which is one of the reasons I like to drop my stuff into our uh, created directories so uh, it simplifies things. So we don't need a path. So here's our command SHA-SUM 256. Here's our switch. Oh and I forgot to pipe this in. Let me, uh, sorry about that gang. Yeah, so uh, we're going to need to pipe this in uh, like that. All right, so there's our command. We're piping this in so we don't have to create a SHA file. We're just going to sort of do it on the fly. This is kind of a little shortcut. All right, I'll take you to the end, even though it's not necessary really to make this command run. And then we'll hit Enter. Whoops. Now what have I done? Oh, I forgot to close the uh, <laughs> quotes. There we go. So we close off the quotes and hit enter. And I guess let me try this again. Oh, I somehow I've gotten into something crazy. I'm just going to do that. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I really whacked things out, didn't I? Okay. No biggie. Sorry about that, gang. That's all from not me not closing the quotes so here we go we got our file uh, command we've got our switch we've got our pipe we've got a open quote SHA along with the file name and a close quote which is very important and let's hit enter and look at that ethereum wallet Linux okay isn't that cool all right all right so now that we've got this thing uh, let's install the package and that's pretty straightforward uh, if you have GDebi and that's uh, let's see here you can just do install GDebi uh, from the command line um, sudo whoops sudo apt install GDebi like that and you put in your password Uh, I already had it so uh, but in your case if you hadn't installed it it would uh, ask you if you're sure and you would install it so it's a pretty easy package to use we'll go over here this is it GDebi all right and then we just do a file open and we go to this wonderful folder that we created where we know where it is exactly in our home folder under software in Ethereum there's that package we just click open and there it is. We're going to install the Ethereum wallet and hit install. Okay, it's just letting me know that uh, I, uh, I installed that with uh, privileges so it doesn't need a password. And you can see here the installation has finished. Uh, the wallet was installed. Let's hit close close this guy too and the terminal and the browser and let's check over here oh look here's ethereum oh I'm sorry <laughs> here it is well it was there before uh, so I'm gonna show you what you would normally do you would just click here and find it over here in your list of programs click add to favorites right click add to favorites and then it will be in your uh, doc makes it easy so we'll just click that guy and here it comes there we go ethereum node starting up okay so we're gonna launch here okay okay so there you have it now I created I had done this before so uh, normally what it does is it asks you to create uh, 
a password, which is pretty straightforward. Uh, I'll leave that to you. Um, and then uh, it does its sync up. And as you can see here, it's still waiting for blocks. It's going to take quite a while to fully sync to the network. Um, now, uh, during the startup, it also asks you if you want to restore an Ethereum wallet, which is also fairly straightforward, even in Linux. We'll just do a file, import account, and then you get this uh, drop box here. And I'm going to go ahead. I have a wallet that, whoops. I have a wallet that's on this little flash drive that I backed up. And I'm going to quickly put it in my uh, USB port back here. Pardon me. I don't know how quick that was, but hey. All right. So uh, now that I've done that, I'm just going to use my files here. And I'm going to go to my key backup. And as you can see here, I have an Ethereum wallet backup. In my key store folder, I have the Ethereum file. There it is. Nice. We're just going to drop it on. It's just like Windows, basically. Uh, I am a graphically, uh, let's say, I'd say I am a graphically oriented person. Used Mac and Windows for many years. So even when I'm in Debian, I tend to sort of gravitate towards the uh, graphical tools. Okay, so now you can see here that it's it just named it account two. I'm not sure. I guess I could change the name here if I wanted to. Um, but that is one of my accounts, and it has some ether in it. And if you've done this, don't panic because it's not going to show you the balance until it's done a full sync. And as you can see, it's only at 2% now, and it would take quite a while. Uh, so I'm just going to let it run. And, uh, you know, once you've done this once, uh, the next time you launch it, it, it takes a lot less time. So don't worry about this initial sync to the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, that's how cryptocurrency works. You need to do that full install so that you have the blockchain ledger uh, in your computer, on your computer. Okay? So, uh, I think I'm going to wrap up the video now. Thanks for joining me, guys. I always appreciate it when you uh, join me. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you uh, would like to be alerted when I post new videos, subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you all here again. Thanks.